Hi, I'm Benny from the Developer Experience team at CircleCI and today I will give you a demo of the Configuration Helper. The Config Helper is a set of features that is part of the new official CircleCI Visual Studio Code extension. This extension is available on the VS Code Marketplace for free and it includes two main sets of features, the Config Helper and the Pipelines Manager. The Config Helper was built to help anyone write, edit, navigate and troubleshoot uh, CircleCI YAML configuration files. It is based on a dedicated language server specific to CircleCI configuration files and exposes language support features that make the editing experience similar, of, similar to those of other programming languages through features such as auto-completion and syntax validation. The Config Helper makes it easier to get started with CircleCI by reducing the need to move back and forth between your IDE and the docs in the browser. So here I have a, a CircleCI YAML file. The first thing you will notice is that we have added syntax highlighting. So we have colors here to help me navigate and recognize the structure of the file at a glance. Just for comparison, I will open this exactly the same file without the extension. Here it is, and you can see that it's much harder to identify the different parts of the file. Right, so let me run you through a few of the features we have added. The first one I want to show you is on hover documentation. We have added shorthand documentation available for all keys and, and parameters that gives you a brief description of uh, the parameter that you're expected to enter. It also links to the official docs. You can see here that we have some warnings. This warning, for instance, is, war is telling me that a new version of an orb is available. And this one is warning me that I have uh, defined a job that is not used in this file. At the same time, we've added, uh, we have added some um, usage hints. So here, for instance, we suggest using the key store test results um, in order to be able to visualize test results in the app and therefore get the most value out of CircleCI. Another very useful um, feature we've added is syntax validation. For example, here, if I make a typo, it's going to tell me that there is something wrong, but this is also valid for file structure. So let's say that I didn't have the steps um, key, it would warn me that something is looking wrong here. Um, another very useful thing is auto-completion that we're used to in, in many other languages. Here I have a dynamically uh, defined parameter, resource and parallel level and when I'm using it here I can invoke auto-completion and it's going to automatically suggest one of the two. I'm going to show you the same use of, of auto-completion in a different place. So here I'm using my jobs and I can check which jobs I have defined above in the same file. A last feature I'd like to show you is um, rich navigation through the go to definition and go to reference. Um, here I'm using a job but I might want to check um, the details of the definition of this job so I can enter go to definition and it's going to take me to the part of the file where I've defined my job. For instance, I might want to check which type parallel level um, is expecting, and it's an integer. So I'm going to go back here, go to reference, and verify that I have correctly entered an integer. Go to definition is uh, useful for very large um, configuration files, obviously, but also for smaller you know, to, to identify where I have defined parameters within the same portion of code and for orbs as well. So here I'm using a command defined in an orb and I might want to use go to definition to load the definition of the orb automatically and check whatever I need to verify. This is obviously also available directly in the file without having to change. I can show you here, it's going to give me the basic information I need. 
I believe that the configuration helper for VS Code can really speed you up in, uh, in your development work and make it a little bit less scary to use CircleCI configuration files, especially for new users that might want to onboard on our platform. You can go install this extension from the VS Code Marketplace and if you're interested in the other features available in the extension, you can also check out our Pipelines Manager video available in the CircleCI YouTube channel. If you are a developer and you would like to help make this extension better, you can contribute to the open source CircleCI language server project. We will link the repository below. Thank you for watching.